In this Throne and Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on how to defeat the level 40 co-op dungeon boss of Lacoon, Queen of the Underground. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent every few days. Now, if you'd like to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Throne and Liberty videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them in a few days. So good luck everybody. So Lacoon, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not because I'm a noob, uh, is a co-op dungeon boss at a level 40 in that throne and liberty it's a boss i'm seeing many players having problems with but hopefully today i can teach you what you need to know about this boss and its mechanics so you can come here and defeat this sucker now i have fought this boss plenty of times over the past few days and i have noticed that as soon as you start the fight sometimes he has like a red pulsating damage aura effect that the boss does this normally don't happen till halfway through the fight, but sometimes it happens right at the start of the fight. This can easily be taken out of the equation by just laying down damage to the boss. It doesn't always happen, just be aware it might do. So this boss has a few mechanics it can do, but also doing them in seemingly random orders. But once you know what to do and to expect when this damage mechanic starts to happen and pops up, you are good to go here. So initially you start the boss fight by destroying the three eggs on the platforms. If you have wiped, this won't need to be repeated. To start the boss fight again, you just simply hit the boss. So let's talk about these boss fight mechanics that you need to know about. So the boss will do an instance where it spawns that larvae on the heads of players. Now these can be devastating to the player, uh, but to get rid of these it's quite easy to stick together basically grouping up with other players so once that maggot attaches to your face group up with other players to get rid of them Now this lava can and frequently also lift you up into the air too which if it does you want to morph so you don't take full damage the boss also spawns in those paralyzing ants which when they bite you you are stunned to the spot this happens most of the time um, not long before she does another attack where she sends you up into the air which obviously if you are stunned you will take full damage if you ain't stunned make sure to morph again so you don't take that full damage now as soon as the paralyzing ant does spawn in though take them out now this doesn't always happen but it does sometimes another move this boss does which is probably her most powerful happens not long after a pillar lifts up out of the floor this pillar spawns within a spot where you see like a red misty aura this signals that she's about to do this powerful attack and this pillar is where players need to head to and stand on what happens here is it raises off of the floor so her attack doesn't hit you now if you miss the red pillar and don't get to it on time run to any of the other three platforms just stand upon them now the boss from here will start to hover and spawn in a gem ant on one of the three platforms here guys you need to take out this ant asap while you are here fighting this gem ant, the boss is spitting poison on you, which does drain your health. So either try and avoid it guys, or just take out the ant ASAP, so she starts spitting that poison. Now once you take out that gem ant, the boss basically lands back down on the ground with another AOE attack, so yeah, be wary of that. And then guys, she basically cycles through the moves we just spoke about. Now yeah, it's not too bad of a fight when players know what they are doing here and well, I hope this video does indeed help you out. Her mechanics are quite simple, far from the worst in the game. On screen now, you're seeing a complete run of this boss fight from start to finish I did with a randoms first try. But guys, I hope the video helped you out. If you did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.